Hey guys, welcome back to iCraft MC. In the last video we did a whole bunch of ore mining, and in this video we'll actually be decorating for Christmas. But before we do that, we're going to start with today's banner. And uh, today's banner is a really interesting one, it's of a zombie. So to start, actually, we're not even going to start at the, uh, at the loom here, we're going to be starting by crafting a skull charge. The skull charge is made with a wither skeleton skull and paper, and if you watch my episode when I'm in the nether fortress, you'll see how I got that uh, wither skeleton skull. So the first pattern is with a black banner, the skull charge, and with lime dye, and this will make the skull and crossbones. Then the next pattern is going to be a light blue pearless inverted, which is basically just a fancy way of saying have the bottom half of the screen be blue. Then we're going to have a purple base, which is just having the bottom third be uh, purple, like that. And then we're going to go on to a uh, black pale sinister, and then we're going to have a uh, black pale dexter, and then we're going to finish off with the, what is it called here? The uh, black base indented, and you can actually see there, it's pretty cool, it looks pretty well like a zombie. So we're just gonna throw this out here and you can see our Christmas tree, what we're gonna be decorating, and we'll just put that up right there, and yeah, there's our zombie. Anyway, to start with this, I'm gonna have Gemma and Jonas here be decorating the house with a bunch of garlands. And uh, yeah, you guys have the wool for that, and there's basically a pattern, um, if you want to, you could hang these from beam to beam, or whatever you guys really wanna do. And uh, yeah, so I'm basically going to start by getting a whole bunch of ores and um, decorating the uh, the Christmas tree. And if you come down here and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa I didn't see this storage room last episode. That's because it wasn't in the last episode. I built this between episodes. I'm just going to show it to you now. So I have a whole uh, section here all for the uh, uh, nether items. And here has the uh, mob drops. This has building blocks. Uh, this has plants. This has... Um, wood plank items, this has just the actual logs, and then all the kind of the items you get in the natural world and from mining, and you can see here all the, the valuables. So I'll start by uh, not turning that diamond around, but grabbing a bunch of lapis lazuli, and also a fair amount of diamonds, um, probably a few emeralds, uh, a good amount of gold, um, s no not really any iron, maybe a little bit of iron, and uh, also some redstone. And with all that, I'm going to be decorating the Christmas tree, and maybe just some coal, actually. And yeah, so we'll just start by turning all this into blocks. And with these blocks, I probably won't use all of them, but I can use definitely some of them to decorate uh, the Christmas tree with just some things that'll kind of look like little baubles and other kind of uh, traditional Christmas tree decorations. So we'll just um, get these out, and I'll also just grab some... Uh, scaffolding real quick, which I think is crafted with bamboo and sticks. So I'm just going to grab that real quick here. We got a whole bunch of bamboo. And I do, do believe I have a string chest over here. Hopefully there is some string in it. Yep, there is. Perfect. And we'll just craft some scaffolding. And this will just be the way that we basically go up and down the Christmas tree uh, so that we can decorate all the parts of it. And the Christmas tree is out this door, I believe. And yeah, I think I'll start with putting the... Uh, some decorations on the bottom here, maybe some of these redstone blocks. Yeah, I think those really have a look of a Christmassy ornament, as they do have that kind of shine and gleam to them. Just put those are kind of around the base of the tree, like that. And then I think I'll probably go on to making this scaffolding tower here, right to the top. And I'm going to put, maybe that's a little too tall, but that should be fine. Then I'll probably go to this layer and put a few more redstone blocks um, all the way around, and I'll probably also put some lapis blocks on. Oh, and there I go down. That's why I have the, the scaffolding, is because then I can go up and down the tree like that. But yeah, I think the redstone blocks really do work well. You can already kind of see what that's starting to look like there. I'll probably just throw up some more redstone blocks around this side, probably one in every one of these kind of branches that come out. And then I'll go to the third part up here and just throw up some... Uh, oh, <laughs> fell down again kind of hard to jump this and hopefully I won't fall too far. Yeah, so I can just go here and just kind of place one of these around here kind of on every branch like that. And then I'll probably just go to the top here and place maybe one or two of these. Oh, did that again. I'll probably have to build out actually to make it so I won't fall that. There you go, that's probably the best. Probably put one of these on this side, one of these on this side, and then have a big star on the top. So I'll probably do the star like this maybe, I'll just break that one. Like that, that should probably look pretty good. I can probably make it look really good by putting that there and there. Hopefully that'll 
match kind of the theme. Yeah, I think that does. And I'll put uh, a lapis. Yeah, that lapis really, it does kind of have this gleam to it. So I'll probably just put some lapis around the tree here. And, oh, fell down there. Just kind of throw it up there and there and kind of around here. Um, I may just throw in an emerald here or there. Just so we have the kind of the look of all different types of ornaments. And then we'll just throw up maybe an emerald there, an emerald here, and some lapis here and here. And some lapis here and maybe here. Okay, let's see what that's looking like. Yeah, I think that's actually looking really good, like quite a bit like a Christmas tree. But I do have a few other things I wanted to do. I'll probably just throw another lapis there. Um, there's that garland's looking really good there, Jonas. I think I'll just break this real quick. And yeah, I think I'll definitely put some... Um, uh, what do you call those chests underneath the tree <laughs> uh, because that could be where we put presents and I think that would work pretty well so I'll just throw up a few single chests around here under the the bottom of the tree and we can get rid of any extra ones we may not need and uh, yeah I think we can open these because there's the leaves yes I think that should work quite well there you go. I think that's looking pretty good as a decoration um, I might also just throw up a uh, gold block or two around here that's not on the top. I think that would definitely add to this. And thankfully with the new nether update I can get tons and tons of gold pretty easily so that's not too much of a problem. In fact I might even just go up once more just to quickly throw up a few more uh, gold blocks near the top here. Oh I didn't even put any diamond blocks on you. I might I might just put one or two diamond blocks on like one there, a bit of gold here, and Maybe a uh, diamond block here, and one maybe uh, hanging down here. It looks like it's almost bedtime, actually. I'll probably just <laughs> fall my way down the tree. And then maybe just another diamond block right here and uh, right there. There we go. I think that's like, making a really cool decorated tree. So I think I'll probably just head to bed real quick now. And then, uh, yeah, we'll continue decorating in the morning. Oh, yeah, and I think that's probably a good amount of decorations. And what's great about decorating something is uh, then we can just basically, um, when whenever Christmas is over, uh, which of course it would be the 26th or 27th, um, we can just uh, put the uh, the ores, blocks, and all that right back in the chest. So that should work quite well. So I'll just craft all these extra ones into uh, the blocks. And then, yeah, it looks like we're pretty well done decorating that. It looks like Gemma and Jonas have pretty well covered the rest of what they need to do. Let's see what we have to do here. Uh, just a little bit more crafting down. Throw all this lapis in here. Get all the emeralds back into there. And uh, put the gold uh, back in here. And I think just the, the uh, iron in here. I don't actually think I'll need any of that coal. I'm not sure what I was thinking. I guess maybe someone got that in their stockings. Oh, hey, Gemma Lacus. Do you want to show me something? Is that what? Yeah, okay, sure. Head over with Jamalaka, see what she wants to show us. That's looking like really good uh, banners they're hanging up. Looks beautiful. Let's see what they're, you're heading me over here. Oh, that's a beautiful tree. I love that. All right, what would you like to show me, Gemma? You're showing me the sugar cane? No, I think you're showing me something past the sugar cane, maybe. Let's see what's over here. Hmm. Yeah, definitely not showing me the sugar cane. Is it something down here? Well, I hear a zombie. That doesn't sound very nice. Let's see what else is down here. Want me to go down there? See what's down there? Yeah, okay. Let's see what you're trying to show me. I hear a lot of mobs. I wonder if there's a cave right under here. Oh, well, there's not a cave. Maybe there is, but there's a mob spawner. Well, that is pretty cool. Gemma, do you have any torches on you? Perfect. It looks like you do. If you have a few torches, if you just throw those to me, I can just spawn proof that. Well, a mob spawner. Now that could be perfect. I wonder what type it is. Hopefully it's either a skeleton spawner or a, a zombie spawner. One of those would work the best. I guess I'll just throw these in my offhand and hope for hope for the best, I think. Looks like there's a couple skeletons in here, but I can probably uh, spawn proof this pretty easily. Yeah, that didn't really come with much trouble. I'll just block that up real quick. Oh, look at this, Jemalakas, you found a spider spawner. Do you want to come down here? I don't know. There you go. Uh, not a spider spawner, a, a skeleton spawner. Let's see what's in these chests. Oh, wow. A golden apple, a record, string, melon seeds, wheat, bucket, uh, gunpowder, uh, all kinds of good stuff. This one, oh, wow, golden horse armor. I bet you I could put that on uh, a horse if I ever got one. I'll probably just break these 
chests actually. That was pretty cool. Oh, well, Gemalacus, can I can I use your this uh, spider spawner you farm? Uh, you, not spider spawner. Can I use the skeleton spawner you found to make a farm? Yes. Okay. Well, how about I just make a quick way out? I have. Let's see what I have to get us out. I'll probably just break a couple of these blocks. Yeah, maybe in the next episode we could actually make a farm out of this. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, so if you want, I'll just build us a little staircase up and out of here. We'll have to put those items away. But yeah, look at that. A whole enchanted golden apple. That's pretty good if you want to just come up here, Gemma. And uh, yeah, the rest of that could be quite useful. Actually, I'm just going to go in here like this. And then we can go like that. And that should... Oh, no, that's not right at all. I think we can go like this. Does that help? Yeah, that should be a good way out. Yeah, we'll definitely have to get a more direct way down there and uh, totally make a farm out of that because that could be a really good way of getting experience and also getting a lot of other good stuff. And now that I'm looking at the tree, I'm noticing a big bald patch up there of places I didn't add ornaments. And some places down here look a little bit dense. So what I might do is I might just uh, break one or two of these since it looks like that's a little bit too dense. Just break that emerald block there. Let's see if I can grab the emerald block. Uh, yeah, we're... Grab that, maybe grab this lapis here. Now that's looking a little bit bald. Maybe if I just move these around a little bit, put the lapis there, and then put the emerald block up there. I wonder if that'll make it look any better. Yeah, I think that does look better. Now, I think to me that looks like a really good Christmas tree. And let's see what Jonas and Gemma have been up to over here. I love these garlands they put around the house. I think they're looking really good and should really have a uh, festive house. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this rather short, but hopefully enjoyable episode of us Christmas decorating. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video, where we hopefully will be making a spider spawner, or a skeleton spawner farm. Goodbye!